Hi guys, Sandy from The Paddle School here. In this video, we're gonna talk about the differences between the Addy Power Rackets. Now, recently, I've had to make a decision about which one I'm going to use to play with, and so I've tested all of them extensively. And in this video, I'm gonna explain the differences between the three, but also the reason that I chose the one I chose for myself. Now, if you enjoy this type of content, please click subscribe and you'll get a weekly video on paddle that will help you improve your game. So first I'm gonna talk about the Adi Power 2.0. Now this is the racket that Seba Narone uses and it's slightly heavier than the other rackets. I know a lot of these rackets, they have a kind of bracket of the weight, but I've tested at least five or six of each of the rackets and this one is slightly heavier. Now it has a teardrop shape, which means that there's more weight in the head of the racket and therefore the balance is slightly further down the racket. This is also the harder material. So this is really a power racket. You'll get extra power when it comes to the smashes and aggressive volleys. Um, and you'll also find that this is good often for tennis players or players I would say from a kind of intermediate level and above. So the next racket is the Adi Power Control 2.0. So this is the one that Alex Ruiz uses. And this is actually the same material as the previous one, but it's a different shape. So this is a rounded shape, which means that the weight of the racket is more in the handle and it's actually a lot more even. This is actually also lighter. It's about four or five grams lighter in all of these rackets than the previous Adi Power 2.0. And this is a great racket to use for really players of any level. It's good for beginners because it feels a little bit lighter because more of the weight is in the handle. And it's also good for advanced players because you still get that power. It's still quite hard, like the Addy Power 2.0. So really this would be a good racket for a lot of players. And I know it's a popular racket among professional players, but also among players learning the game. So the third racket is the Adi Power Soft 2.0. So this racket is the one that Ali Galan uses. And this one is a similar shape, the teardrop shape to the Adi Power 2.0. Um, it's made of a softer memory foam. So you really notice a difference. It's quite considerably softer than these two rackets. Um, and the weight is pretty much in between them. It's maybe a couple of grams heavier than the orange and a couple of grams lighter than the yellow. Um, and again, it says head heavy, but really I would again say it's between the two rackets. It's kind of a nice even balance. For me personally, I really like this racket because it's the teardrop shape, which I'm used to from my previous racket. I also really like that soft feel. And now what they've done with this racket is they haven't compromised on the power with that soft racket. Because obviously a softer racket gives you more control, but this one you've got good power and you've got good control. This Adi Power range is a great type of racket because the carbon structure of the frame means it's very sturdy and it's not gonna be easy to break. Now, just to summarize, the yellow Adi Power 2.0, that is more head heavy and it's a harder structure, which means that you're gonna get extra power when it comes to your smashes. You've got the orange one, which is at the other end of the spectrum, which is weighted more in the handle and it's slightly lighter, but you've also got the hard uh, material that's used in the surface, which means that you do still get some power. And then the red Adi Power Soft 2.0 is the softer racket. It's still not really, really soft, but it's soft to the point that you get nice control on it, but you also get some good power. And I would say that that's in the middle between the two rackets. The balance is slightly further up towards the handle, but still on the end of head heavy. And also the weight is kind of between the two. So I would really recommend any of these rackets, like I say, with all of the rackets, you should really test it before you end up buying it. And so I hope this helps you choose these rackets. Now, this is the first racket review that we're doing on this channel. So please let me know in the comments down below if you like this type of video, if you find it useful, if you would like me to do other rackets or other brands, because I'm more than happy to do that. And don't forget to subscribe. 